it's important to have an explanation of what fabric is. Um, now, you might have already seen lots of presentations about fabric and you know, still thought, well, you know, this isn't for me. But what I want to do is explain quickly what fabric is and not only why it's relevant for this presentation, but why it's relevant for a Power BI user group. A good way of thinking about what fabric is, is to, to make a comparison. You know, when I say, or when I try to explain what fabric is to Power BI, I always say Power BI is to Fabric as Excel is to Office 365. If there are some older people around on this call, maybe as old as me, you might be you might be able to remember when Microsoft sold Excel and Word and all of the other different Office products as separate things, not as Office. They were just standalone products. And if you wanted a, a spreadsheet, you went and bought Excel. If you wanted a word processor, you went and bought Word. At some point, somebody very clever inside Microsoft said, we're selling Excel and Word and Access and PowerPoint and all of these things to the same type of people, to, to information workers. So rather than them having to go away and buy standalone products and then kind of work out how to you know, copy and paste from a spreadsheet into a Word document and things like that, why don't we make all of these different products part of a, a big bundle, which we'll call Office, and then we'll sell Office, and then you don't need to go and buy these standalone products. And what's more, you don't need to go away and ever think about buying competing products. You know, you don't need to go and think about buying Lotus One, Two, Three, or or Word Perfect or something like that. So we had this this bundle of tools called Office. You bought it as one thing, which was convenient for companies. And then also, from a technical point of view, there was some integration as well. You know, if you open up Excel and you look at the ribbon there, you probably think, well, yeah, this is very familiar to the ribbon that I see in Word and in PowerPoint. So if you know how to use one tool, you know kind of how to use all of them. The, the UIs are familiar. And what's more, there's a lot of shared code underneath there as well, especially in um, you know the Office uh, cloud products, where it's all part of one big platform. And that's the point to make with Power BI and Fabric. Power BI and Fabric are not two separate things. Power BI is not being replaced by Fabric. Power BI is like Excel, and Fabric is like Office, or Microsoft 365, as we should call it now. Because really, if you think about Power BI today, where you've got the Power BI service and in the Power BI service, you can build reports, you can have dashboards, you can have paginated reports, you can have Excel workbooks. With Fabric, all you've really got is the Power BI service with some extra stuff in it. Fabric is Power BI. It's built on the Power BI service and it's not something extra. If you've got Power BI today, you're going to have Fabric tomorrow. It is really just the Power BI service with some extra features and functionality in. Yeah, not just reports and dashboards and paginated reports and data sets, but machine learning and you know, a fully featured SQL relational warehouse and notebooks and you know, real time analytics and all kinds of other stuff. So hopefully that excuses why I'm talking about Fabric at a Power BI user group because Fabric is Power BI. And if you've got Power BI today, you will have Fabric, whether you like it or not. How can you use Fabric to solve this data lake problem? 